just we had we had one line it's like something like yeah why don't you tell me your problems and we'll see if they don't exist so he wrote that in and it said to ai make me a song based on this and that's what it came up with Isn't that cool it's incredible it's beautiful yeah, it's alpha and oh, it's, at the towards the end there was something like our souls will shine or something yeah yeah i really love that yeah, yeah beautiful yeah, it's really, really nice. We'll play the jingle at the beginning, 10, 20 seconds, and then the full song mm -hmm. at the end of every episode. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, there's still lines in there that I can feel the emotion. It makes me cry. It's like, tell me your troubles. Mm -hmm. and together we'll pray and let the spirit shine it all the way. It's like, yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, the last time we joined, uh, you guys, we were talking about specificity and you even put a post out on Facebook yesterday that it's not enough just to hear the guidance. Mm -hmm. You have to follow it. And so we talked about that. And then, uh, then we went into this idea of it's still, it's just for us because like Byron Katie says, and of course, David Huffmeister, it's, there's no self and there's no other, like we're not separate. So the idea that somebody else has to has to follow and we don't receive the gift that just didn't make sense doesn't make sense somewhere mm -hmm. so when we receive the message and give it away that is the gift for the mind and you don't need to like follow up and make sure mm -hmm. that somebody's done that and then so we ended in a miracle of that and then you guys went to this uh i think the next day that a german yeah festival conference and you had all these miracles maybe well, yeah maybe you want to share what's come to your mind so yeah thank you <laughs> do you have any thoughts nana you want to start or <laughs> yeah i was saying with that you can because it's really difficult to say one miracle or two miracles because the whole experience was like a one big miracle mm -hmm. that's how it felt because at the beginning we kind of thought why are we even here you know with all these teachers and like 20 teachers i think uh, except us yeah. we were, uh, 20 other teachers and everything and we were just in prayer like we are not really teachers and we don't even want to be teachers so why are we on this festival uh but the, for the very first day as soon as we arrived i think we were in the um entrance and all these people started coming up to us, you know, greeting us or hugging us, hugs and everything. So that was already a nice beginning. Um, and yeah, I don't know, do you have any specific? Well, I think it was beautiful how it all sort of came together because our we did a retreat in another in another house where, where we were speaking last time and she was going to the festival. So everything was like set to go there. 
But the other thing was, is we didn't actually know where we were going to be going after the festival. Yeah. The lady with us said, listen, if nothing else comes through, you can, you can, you've, you've always got a house with us. It's like four, four and a half hours away from where the festival was. <clears throat> so it wasn't like we didn't have anything, but it felt like that was complete. And so, okay, no, we, you know, there's the, there's the miracle. So that was also part, that was also part of this. Yeah. And so, as Nana said, we got there, but we got there an hour early before we could like check, um, in. check in or anything. So we didn't know where we were going. So we're in like the reception area. So we're like greeting everybody. And it's just like incredible. Yeah. All the different teachers and everyone that was coming. It was just so incredible. Just like feeling all of this love. Yeah. Even Andreas Prohl, who put on the event, he came in like about 30 minutes after all these invites. He's like, oh, my God, this is incredible. You know, could feel like you could feel the power of it straight away. There was just like I, I, I can only describe it as there was this immense power. And it was like Jesus was just like almost like palpable in the mind. It was so like here and now. And um, yeah, so that was that that was incredible for, for me, I think. The healing was is the, is the same. It's like, wow, what what am I doing here? Speaking to three hundred and fifty people, yeah. And actually, that made me pretty nervous to actually speak. Um, so the very first thing that we had to do was um, we had to introduce. we had to introduce ourselves. Yeah, I'm sitting there drinking water upon. I was like, oh, just <laughs> water. like sweat pouring off my face. Because those types of things, yeah, I'm not really like comfortable in. I can just like go into something, yeah. But that, like, hello there, everyone. You know? <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, am I gonna? Can you just sleep for it? <laughs> yeah. So I'm just completely praying. And uh, yeah, then we, then it was like, well, Nana afterwards shared me. She said, wow, it was like, it was like a, it was like a prayer. It was like a prayer that you said. And I said, yeah, really, we're not. I just said, yeah, really, I know that I'm I'm not here for a festival. Yeah, there's obviously a bigger purpose at play. And I'm just here. I'm, I'm really, I'm really here for that. And then the words that came through was, I'm here to offer salvation and to receive salvation. And the interesting thing is, is I don't normally use the word salvation yet. So it was kind of like interesting. I'm like, where is this coming from? I'm getting all biblical here. <laughs> and then it was like, that was the, that, that was like the prayer in my heart. And I also knew because it was so massive, yeah, it's like you can get really distracted, yeah, and we needed to stay really, really focused. So I was like, okay, I really, really need to be in prayer the whole time. Don't think it's like, oh, it's festival time, you know, because it can be really easy in these situations to be really, really light, you know, because it's, you know, it's fun as well. And it, and, and it is, it's, it's all part of that. But it's like, okay, Lord, I am, I, I am truly here for you. So each time we were in our room, we prayed, we prayed together and we said, we pray for major miracles. And so Nana, Nana's healing was, was she was being healed by the Germans, weren't you? Yeah. <laughs> With hugs, because they are so, I don't know, I didn't, friendly. I don't know if I had any idea about German people, but even when we were going to introduce ourselves, I think my whole festival thing was also, it was beautiful in terms of meeting new people and having encounters. But at the beginning when we arrived there, they go was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> like, what are you doing there? All the teachers and everything, and you are not even, um, I don't know, it's yeah. just unworthiness, I guess, and this smallness, you know? And then the, uh, the thing that came to my mind uh, from Jesus was, it's like, uh, it felt like I have this idea about myself and the whole festival felt too big for this self-concept, you know? And then Jesus was like, you are not who you think you are. And I was like, okay. <laughs> I Something about that was like the whole time was Jesus like, you are not who you think you are. So if you feel like you are small and you cannot handle festival or speaking in front of a lot of people, you are just mistaken. Let me show you what's going to happen. And then that kind of stayed in my mind and I could feel that all the other thoughts kind of fell away. 
And then when we were going to introduce ourselves, I was just standing in front of all these people and I didn't feel any uncomfortableness or anything. There was just this strength. And there's just exactly, you know, how it comes over you, just words, what needs to be shared. And everything just came about. And then after that, um, people mm -hmm. were coming up to us and mm -hmm. quoting us like, oh, that's, that thing that you said touched me so deeply and everything. And I was like, I, that was the beginning of being blown away. And the whole time, it's, as Ken was saying, it's not just during sessions. The whole time was the huge experience of having encounters and being in prayer, whether you are going up the stairs or having lunch or having dinner or just walking, having a um, walk. It was just this huge experience. And for me, that was like this deep thing, like, watching myself how things were coming through and knowing that it's Jesus you know and Jesus almost bringing this message deeply in my mind you're not who you think you are and you can be used in such a major way and such a miraculous way that was like a, for me like a deepest message of Mm -hmm. really and then all the ones like I, I thought I don't even know how present they are gonna be are they gonna listen because there was a lot of people in this huge room but everyone was there and everyone was listening and everyone was crying and they were so deeply touched and then they they love hugs and they love eye gazing and the whole time was that hugging and eye, eye gazing and then I was making jokes like Germans taught me how to hug you know it's they just embrace you and it was like they thought that we were really giving something mm -hmm. to them and they felt so blessed because we we shared our miracles like how how we were guided through those miracles and then we shared our, about our relationship how it came about and they they knew like how we are living like we don't have any, we just live guided life and they were just so touched by that we can feel we can feel your journey oh. everyone felt so blessed by that mm -hmm. it was just unbelievable and they felt like we, they were blessed by us but then i felt loud and blessed myself like everyone was so loving you know that so many faces and I couldn't even remember names, but as we would go out, someone would wave and hello and hi. And I was like, okay, I must know this one. And they would give us huge hugs and this love and their, their, how touched they were. They were so open and just sharing from their hearts and sharing most intimate things that they they were going through. And how much they loved and how we were sharing also saying full yes and everything and everyone was cheering on it was just just amazing this amazing experience of seeing how jesus works behind everything and how jesus uses everything really and it was like the things that came through came through also in a new way because our first we had uh, the first session on the third day and it was not the biggest room. It was, it was like a exactly. smaller room, exactly. but it was packed. Everyone was, I think, so intrigued by how we leave. They were like, the one guy I, I remember, he was saying, I heard about these kind of things, but someone leaving like this and being right in front of me and showing me that it is possible and it is working, it was just, it was they were just amazed. And then the fun. first session like the whole room was packed and we were just sitting there and it was just you could feel the yeah. presence so strongly it just was just so tangible and Ken shared and Ken cried and it was like Ken just exploded and then I shared and they were like after the session because it was like guidance you know when I looked back how I was guided through everything it was I was reminded of that myself and then everyone was coming up and saying, if you did it, I can do it too. Yeah. Now I know I can do it too. I can follow too and I can trust. And then people asking these questions, how, how do you hear? How do you, it's these kind of questions, you know, how is how do I hear the voice? How do I follow? And it's like sharing all these practical things. And people were coming and saying, 
oh my god it's like one thing is teaching a course in miracles or reading something from there but another thing you share these practical things and you can see how actually a course in miracles works in practical way the way you shared it in specific situations that you went through and they were just so blessed by that it's actually not only the book it actually works so this was like a that's why i can i cannot really pinpoint one or two miracles it was just this explosion and after the first session we turned on the music and everyone was like yes everyone was so energized and so lit up everyone was just wanted to explode almost it was just and yeah whether it was teachers or students or just participants everyone was just, just so touched by that and it was like yeah you can't really take credit for it it's just we didn't expect we thought when hardly anyone know, knew us you know and just it was just explosion of encounters and then another thing was they had these miracle teams when they put in a basket they put like all the names of the teachers and they shuffle it and then take one name out and then another name out randomly and you have to teach for an hour together and we were just in prayer because there were like all sorts of teachers you know like everything i think message comes through in a different way and everyone uses teachings in a new different way so we were just in prayer of jesus we don't want to just play like we want to be used in a very purposeful way so we were just i remember that morning we were like we want grand miracles so it was like we went down and it was like for in my mind there were there were two options like my name either um it's not gonna come up or it's gonna be with someone so uh we were sitting there and all of a sudden andreas pulls up uh pulls out my name nana I was like okay and I'm, I'm just I was like come on Jesus I need a miracle here and at the same time we kind of surrendered we thought no matter who it is we are just gonna surrender and we are gonna use use it for miracles you know you never know where you need to deliver the message and he, he was like Nana and there is this tension you know waiting and then Ken <laughs> it was Ken <laughs> <laughs> and that was just so obvious that Jesus was there and Jesus was <laughs> with us. It was just, that, that's just for that. Jesus saying, I am actually here and I'm in charge and I'm in control. And you have a message to deliver together. So it's a joint mission. So we went um, to this room where at the beginning we didn't know uh, we, in which room we would be. So we, we were sent in one room and we were there. And Ken just shared that at that time it was confirmed that we would do the retreat in two weeks' time in Holland. So we we knew that, but I, we didn't know how we would get there, how, where we would spend two weeks or anything. So Ken shared about that that we we were going to do the retreat uh, get a gather a gathering in Holland, but we didn't know how we would get there. And after the talk, this guy comes up to Ken and he says actually i didn't even know who you are i was going to another session but for some reason i was pulled in this room and i was just sitting there and i didn't know why i was there and when you shared about holland i knew it was for me because i come from holland and usually i take the small car and sometimes usually people are coming with me to travel with me but this time i took a bigger car because we have big suitcases and my car is actually empty. No one is coming with me, which is quite unusual. But and I can drive you, and you can stay with me for an for a day, for one day. And we were like, "Yeah, okay, this is a this is our next step. <laughs> we, this is it's gonna it, this is revealed." But we still had these days, like between this one day or like one day. I, I think we had five four days or five four or five days open when we don't okay we are going to holland we are gonna get there but then we don't we don't know where we are gonna stay for that four or five days and then we are in the hallway walking and all of a sudden marga sends the message and she says if you are in holland and need to stay somewhere you can stay in my house and we were like okay and ken thought that marga knows 
we thought that she know and she knew that we were coming to Holland. She, she had didn't. no idea. She didn't, she didn't know. Send the message. She just felt to send the message. Um, and we just received the message, and we were like, "Woohoo!" <laughs> it was just <laughs> all clicked in miraculously. And yeah, our last session was um, in the morning. We were kind of praying: Do we share about the, our miracles for, from the trip, or do we share about relationships? And then we came down the stairs and the first encounter we have, we don't even remember her. She's like, oh, so nice to see you and everything. And she shares, oh, I really, I listened to your podcast about your relationship. And that's where I know you from. And we were like, okay, that's the message because we were not sure what to talk yeah. about. So Jesus was like, okay, talk about relationships. And we had only an hour and we knew that there, there were many miracles to share. So we were like, okay, we have to be really on it. And you can feel, you could feel just when I stepped into the, it was, it was going to be in the main room, biggest room. And just when I stepped into the room, it was just whoosh, <laughs> so much strength. And Jesus was like saying, I am here. I am here. I am here. I am here. No space for doubt or nothing. Just, I am here. I am here. And then we would just went into it. And it was a quite a nice session because we were kind of um, yeah, uh, bouncing yeah, from each other. And we had also translators and everything. And it was just <laughs> so, so amazing. Everyone was so just touched. Yeah. And I was like, during the session, I was like, okay, I'm sharing all these things. I'm I'm not sure how it is going for them. And then towards the end, everyone came up and no one wanted to leave, really. We we had a, this big group hug and no one wanted to go for lunch. We just wanted to stay there. And yeah, it was just, just amazing. And then encounters that we had, like we would go, uh, we, we, we were on the first, uh, on, on, on the fifth store. Our room was floor. Uh, floor, and then we would go instead of going um, on elevator, we would just use stairs because we thought, okay, this is more restful. And then people started showing up on stairs, and we would have these encounters, you know, and group hugs and cries, and some would be like, I I know that there is a step for me, and they knew like I shared my story about waiting for three years to to take the step and everything and. They were like, I am in that waiting phase and how do how am I going to know when to take the step? And we would join this deep prayer and these tears and this openness and these sparkles in the eyes. And it was just amazing. And then they were so, they felt so blessed by, 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 our, by our mission and what we do. They were like, we received invitations from Austria, from Switzerland, from the whole Germany was like, come to me, come to me, come to me, come to me. Well, one woman wrote the her address and number on the um, napkin or something. And she was like, I'm going to live in this place for 15 years and you can come whenever, whenever you need some, to stay somewhere. You can come, always come, like always come. And uh, she was just uh, joking because I shared like in Colombia, we didn't have um, when we were near Bogota, we didn't have uh, warm water. It was just cold water. And we had to for a month, we had to take cold waters. And she was like, I have warm water, too. So it's like they know all the stories that we share. I'm like, OK, she must have heard my story then. And so then the another teacher was like, are you vegetarian? And I'm like. I've been for a year and somehow he knew that at some point I was a vegetarian. It's just unbelievable. And this woman was like, yeah, I'm going to live there for 15 years. He can always come. And all this sweet, sweet invites from different parts of Germany. It was just, whoa, <laughs> because uh, toward, as we were moving towards festival, we thought, OK, it's kind of calming down, you know, our journey. And we thought, OK. Maybe the not there is not gonna be any <laughs> traveling anymore, and it's this festival was just explosion, like just nation. explosion. It was just whoosh, the huge explosion of Christ or something. It was just like, amazing, just amazing. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think uh, I was grateful for my prayer to re to give and receive salvation. So touched as we're sharing really again it's easy to miss it
Yeah, because really it was just to go there to serve and not know what was truly to be truly helpful in any situation. What what was I what was I really, really doing there? And then that prayer came through. And I'm, I'm glad you shared your experience because my experience was a little bit different with people because people didn't have any questions for me. No one, no one asked me about guidance. No one asked me about anything. They would just come up to me and they would just eye gaze with me and start crying. And then I'd be like hugging them. And it was like no word salvation or something yet the whole time. And it felt like we would walk down corridors and then there would be like this specific one that would just come. And then maybe there would be a few words, but it was like, you know, it's hard to describe really. Um, yeah, it's like the Christ is coming for you. And if you, if you really want to see it, it's like a living demonstration of the Christ. It was like a prayer. Yeah. You're like living in a prayer. It's, a, it's just one prayer that you're, you're, you're living, you're a living prayer. And then everything comes within that prayer and everything was a part of that prayer and whatever wasn't part of that prayer was just being completely lifted off. Yeah. And including at the lunch times and everything like that, which was incredible. It's just hold someone's hand and then they're just crying and just eye gazing. And I'm just, I'm just receiving the blessing of, 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 of this in my heart. You know, I was just so, fulfilled with love really like absolutely everywhere i went mm. and then whatever needed to, do, to be said was like the perfect words or something that just felt so deep it was as if it was like it was like it was everything mm. and when we did the when we did the very first session yeah we walked into the room and the whole room was completely filled up and we're just in room two and I'm just like, okay, well, this is serious. And there was, you know, every pretty much everyone come. There was like 200 people in the room. It's like, okay, right. And I sat in the chair. We really prayed on our music. We were like, okay, let's give everything. Let's have all of our favorite songs. Let's have let's have some dancing at the end to like, you know, lift it up. Let's do everything that we want. We've got the two hours. Give all to all. And we went in there and I just, and I was just sitting in the chair and there's just 200 people just like looking back at me and we're doing the same. We're just like eye gazing and I'm listening to the music. Yeah. And then I'm just like, Jesus is just in my heart. I'm just like, thank, thank you, Jesus. And I'm just like, I'm just really seriously crying in front of everybody. And I just felt so honored to serve him. Like this is, it's like it's it's like everything it's absolutely everything like there's nothing really there's nothing there's nothing going on there's nothing for me actually to share in this it's just like it's it, you know the true it's, it's true you know there's nothing to convince or there's nothing really anything and then so what's going to happen it's going to happen it's really it's really it's really for his glory yeah and just the blessing it's like as if it felt like it's like the blessing of like everything that I received like came in one and then just came out. Yeah, it was like that. It was just this 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 giving and then full receiving to to ev everyone. And then I just received this blessing of whatever seemingly happened. And then just one of the beautiful. It, it was as if like you know like you when you feel it was like a room pop. Yeah, it was like the whole thing just went poof. Like it just took the lid off of whatever anyone was going on, on about, I was really like, you know, I was very clear with the teachings and very direct with what I was sharing, to be honest. And then it was, and then it felt like there was this like pop and like everything just went and then we played the music and it was just like elevation really. And the beautiful thing, this guy, he, um, we went for a walk and um, he was walking in front of us and then he turned around and he saw that it was us and he stopped and he said, thank you. Like he said, I was in that session and my heart just like blew open. Like I, I am like indebted to you or something. <laughs> thank me. Thank Jesus. But it's like those little things. Oh my God. It's like everything. Cause for me, it's like, we can get caught up in so many tiny little things in our mind and everything that are so like meaningless. Yeah. And then all of a sudden you have that, you have, you, you have that breakthrough and it's like, this need not be. And it was like, it was a room of 200 people that just went into like, this need not be or something. It's like, oh my God, you know, every, it was as if everything like then went up to the, to, to the next level. And then that's, 
that's where we stayed for the whole t whole time. And just my 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 seemingly low like, personal experience was with all of this eye gazing, with all of this hugging, with all of this uh, um yeah eye gazing and what whatever. I just I just lost track of all 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 concepts, yeah. And just it just yeah, it was just incredible. It was just immense. It was like my gift from Jesus, you know, for that. It was just incredible. I could just feel this whole like expanse in my mind, and there was there was like no there was like nothing. It's hard to describe. It's just like nothing in between. Like con like concepts were just like completely not. There was no concept. There was no concept. It was me. It was meaningless to even think in concepts. It was just this vast, this vastness that was just yeah. It's incredible. Yeah. And it's, yeah, it's, it's, you know, we're not really, you know, we're not really healers or healing. It's, ju it's just, it's just healing. It's just healing. And there's like that desire. There's a, that desire for that. And that's what I was just, I felt like I was being met with the parts of me that needed healing without words, you know, and it was just like coming, I could see some sort of like pain on their face and then they cry and then there's a thank you and then they're gone. And it's like the release, it's, it's like the release of me. It's like another, it's like another release. And it's just like, thank you, thank you, thank you. So in that, it was like, a, it was like the whole time was literally this whole release. And as, and as you said, it's really been that demonstration and because we didn't know where we were going, it's like, okay, Jesus, you've really got to kind of perform the miracles here because we really don't know where we're going and we've got the sessions. And then that all came through. So everything that we were doing, then they said, so people said, do, you know, do you know where you're going now? And then we could share the miracle. Yeah, it all it all came together. And they're all just like blown away saying, my God, the, 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 it's like, you know, so it's live. It's completely seemingly in the moment and it's literally happening all around you. And I'm saying, I ne they, you never did anything. I never rang anyone up. No one knows. I never, I never asked to go to Holland. I never rung up any of my friends. I never did anything. I'm just here for the festival. And I, I, I knew that, you know, I'm being available here. But then he arranges it for where you need you you need to go. That's really not that's really not for for me to do that. And they're like, this is so this is so incredible. Mm -hmm. And it's and it's true. It's like when you give your life to that, it's 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 everything. It's absolutely everything. And if I you... think the final thing for me was then uh, on the fourth day, uh, there was going to be a concert in the evening. But by this time we met so many people, I was like, Ken, I think I need some rest <laughs> because it's like constantly meeting and meeting and meeting and meeting. And when I would close my eyes for the meditation, all these faces in my mind, I was like, I need to rest, take some rest. And in the evening there was a concert and I was like, oh, I'm going to go on the to this concert and I'm going to have a nice encounters again and then Jesus was like no it's like you need to stay in the room Ken felt to go so Ken, Jesus was like stay in the room so I was like oh okay but as soon as Ken left it, it was Jesus kind of delivered the message he was like it's not about people like that was a nice experience but it's not about people and something clicked in my mind and I was like, oh my God, it's not, it's about something like, it's about your, you serving God. It's about mind, you know, it's not about people and you can just, just be here with me. And then I had like two hours or so just being with Jesus. And then I, I watched the, one of the episode, um, chosen episode when Jesus sends them two by two. So I watched that and I had a nice evening with Jesus, but something about even that, like this almost like attachment to people thoughts or people ideas kind of fell away because Jesus is like, okay, you had a nice experience. It was really beautiful. You experienced a lot of miracles, but that's not about people either. So you can you need to go to God. You need to turn to, to the one, to me even. And that was like, oh, then I could actually journal and then I can, I could almost like integrate or something, be grateful for everything that yeah. happened because sometimes things move so fast. We don't have time to look back or it's okay, next one and the next one and the miracle happens and you have to 
feel it in the moment, but then I could really, really see it with everything that happened. And I, I could just be with, grateful for Jesus, really, because he showed up in so many ways, because there is so many doubts in the mind. And sometimes you don't even know that it's there, but he addresses it right away, even without you knowing it. Mm -hmm. So it was just the grand miracle or something. It was just amazing. And then for me, that ended with that sweet, like being still and being with Jesus and just praying. And the next day then was there was uh, there was a dance and uh, we it's like oh, no one I, I we don't we didn't want to leave I think we were in the main room and slowly people started leaving that they had music still and there was this guy I didn't even know him but we just started just dancing and I I just felt to have the, my hands open you know I felt my heart opening up or expanding and we dance the whole time we dance just just like this as if we were birds and i'm like how is it possible it was just so amazing i my, i ended the whole festival with that beautiful dance i was like i felt so much freedom and we could he was like um, we would reflect each other's movements and it was so beautiful so much freedom and to share that moment with the brother but also having that message that it's not even about bodies or people it's just deeper than that and just higher than that yeah. it was just i remember yeah. many times i would i would go to these things or be around people and then it's like so joyful and so amazing and then there comes this moment and you feel a little bit and you're like and then jesus gives you that message you know and and then you go lay down or you rest and it feels like this battery that you didn't even know was driving everything just starts filling up like you didn't even know it was it I don't know empty is the wrong word but yeah like, oh my god I really needed to do this and you just feel the battery filling up so completely till it can't be full anymore yeah and you're attracted to go out again <laughs> yeah. that's uh yeah yeah that's uh yeah that's why it's important to be prayerful and really feel what you feel isn't it in the moment yeah and it's incredible, like for the sessions and everything like that, because then everything was coming through what was needed for the sessions through prayer. And then when we needed to be on our own and then when you're going out, you're going out fully because yeah, like you're, yeah. you're fully available. OK, I am fully available. I'm not like, oh, my God, the, you know, there was never there, there was ne never any of that. It's just OK, now I'm going out now. I'm Now I'm completely available. And then when we're in. We're, we're, we're being prayerful like, and ready for the next thing. Another version of let your yeses be yes and your noes be no. Yeah. Like everything. Yeah, everything. Fully 100%. You're meditating 100%. You're out That's there it. extending. It's 100%, but you're. it's all so full. Yeah, it is. And it's just such a gift. It's, I was just reminded when you were talking, it's not that you ask for too, too much. It's that you ask for too little. And it was like in that experience, like it was like Jesus was there and just offering absolutely everything. And then for me, actually, when I came back, yeah, that like experience has stayed with me. Yeah. And when I wake up in the morning and I do my meditation, it's like it's always available. And I don't have to forget that. Yeah. I don't have to forget that there's so much, there's just so much for us all, you know, it's not special in any way, it's for, it's, it's, it's for all of us, and his gifts, his gifts are completely and utterly endless, and I don't know what those gifts are, what are needed in that day, but if I'm completely available, then it all, it, then it all comes in miraculous ways, so for me, it was like, wow, that, you know, it can't be that there was a time in space when this happened and then all of a sudden there's a time when this doesn't happen you know that just that's 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 not how it works so it's like wow there's just this vastness all of the time and it's up to me to be like in my in my full yes in my heart so i was i was just so grateful it's like you said it like recharged the battery or something yeah it just yeah it really ignited me so i feel i feel so blessed by the whole thing yeah so so touching yeah with every with everyone and it was it was as if you know all of the all of the teachings as well it was like incredible 
like when people really needed to be in stillness and silence, like the teacher would do that, you know, who was on and the room would be really, really prayerful. And then the next one would sort of like lift it up. Yeah. And you, I could see that it was a complete orchestration of like what the seeming group needed. Yeah. Like Jesus was like, like throwing his little things in the background. Okay, now do this. Now do that. You didn't come to the concert, but and the concert was so beautiful as well. It was like this still, there was this stillness, people playing the piano and everything like that, and just like swaying together, very, very gentle. And it was, it was so, so beautiful, you know, just this, just this dance of how it was put together. It's just this whole orchestration that where you just it was just so fulfilling in the heart you know just oh it was so yeah. beautiful because it's like it's experience you know it's not just words or anything yeah. it's just the whole experience and yeah after that we were like we don't have any words actually to share <laughs> again we came back to where we were before yeah. Yeah, we, we walked into we walked into one room and um it was it was German speaking. Yeah, we felt to go into this room. So we went in there. They're all German speaking. And we came along as the only English speakers. But I felt perfectly happy just to be in presence. I knew that I had to be in that room. So they said, oh, you to translate. I said, don't worry. I'm just going to this is this is great. You just keep the flow, you know, the teachers and everything like I'm not here to disrupt. Just I'm happy to be here. And then so they 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 were sharing. And then this guy said, it's in my heart. And he turned over and he said, it would be my honor to translate for you. And I said, well, as long as it doesn't disrupt the teachers, you know, and whatever they say. They said, no, no, no. And he said, no, it will be my honor. And it was like you could feel his heart, like he had to do it. And then he did. And he sat there and he gave his full heart to translating for us. And it was like every single word that he shared was just going into my heart. I was just, I was so fulfilled by him because he he poured all of his love into all of the words. And because there was questions and things, there was a lot actually happening. And he just gave everything. And I was like, oh my God, you've just fulfilled my heart like fully. Like you just gave everything. I'm so, so yeah. grateful. We three of us were sitting closer together. So <laughs> was it here it was yeah. sweet joining it was yeah. so so beautiful yeah yeah it, it was like you just don't want to dismiss anything yeah it's like when the light goes on you just absolutely feel everything there's not there's nothing like out of place yeah and it's just so so beautiful and you just feel so grateful that love is coming you know love is coming for you really yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's wonderful. Wow, what an experience. And you you guys were even, I know you were praying with Kirsten, whether God would call to Mexico or travel, and I guess you got your answer then. You're... Yeah, there's so well to, over over the next few days. So we had this incredible, we had this incredible, we had this incredible drive because the guy knew a friend of mine and we started talking. Then we rung her up and then we had a call in the car and we all got happy on that. So that was beautiful. And then um, we got to his house and his wife knows nothing about A Course in Miracles, made this beautiful meal for us. Oh, it was just like incredible. Our friend in the morning had to go to work. So his wife was only there. And then when we left, she said, oh, here's an apple pie for you to take on your way. And it, oh, my God. So we just felt so, we, we, we just felt so, like everything's just coming your way. And then we just prayed and we said, OK, like. Um, we had we, that people had said they wanted it, but no one had come forward. And now, actually, today it's all come forward. There was Switzerland yesterday, Austria today. Yeah, so we've got to have we've got to have calls about that. There's Lake Constance, and there's friends all yeah, basically all around Germany. So it seems like this is going to just ignite the the fire for that. So now we're just saying, okay, Jesus, let's see what's going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Incredible. Yeah. It was funny, actually. Do, do you remember we shared with you about a guy, a, a guy, he doesn't do a course in miracles who drove us from Spain all the way up to France. Yeah. Right. We're walking on our little stairwell and this woman, I don't know how this conversation came about. I have no idea. And she said, I'm from Lake Constance. Yeah. And I goes, 
oh no well i said i, I said oh no i've got a friend in lake constance she goes have you i said yeah his name's epi and she goes i know epi and then she started and i was like oh my god how is this but how is this possible it's probably a small place but to me it was <laughs> yeah but what are the chances of yeah. people being from specifically it was come that place was coming at us so much yeah like constant we met like, several people yeah. from that place and we were like we know that yeah. like place. i know five i know five people there and i've never been there in my life <laughs> <laughs> seemingly yeah. <laughs> so it's like, yeah another another lady the lady we did the um the before the festival she said i want to do a nine day retreat <laughs> so she wants to put on a nine day retreat so it's like oh my god there's yeah. so much <laughs> wow it's beautiful i feel the vibe it's like so important to catch this we couldn't wait any longer than today because you finished thursday or something we had you know yeah. you got to share these because then so many more miracles come and then you yeah can, you know, <laughs> exactly lovely. yeah and just keep, it, it, it just it just keeps coming you have to capture it yeah you have to capture the moment of it. yeah yeah it's incredible yeah i feel, I feel so blessed yeah beyond yeah, Jesus keeps surprising us. Really? Just when you think that you cannot be surprised, he brings up another one. <laughs> yeah. uh, so it's like even tiny details on the festival. One day I thought, oh, I would love to eat something sweet. And then we end up being in the shop and then one of the teachers yeah. buys us a chocolate bars. And I was like, I just thought about having something sweet and it was just delivered right then and right at the time and it's just this everything is just amazing it's beautiful <laughs> yeah. wow so glad to have you guys on on the yeah. show and share another round of maybe i'll catch you every time yeah thank <laughs> you so much for the invite <laughs> what's happening now what's happening now yeah. that's it yeah because we share it it was like that building of that trust really i think that i think that was the major thing that people said like i can really trust yeah you can really really trust yeah you don't you don't have to concern yeah yourself. i remember before we left this one guy was uh there we were kind of saying goodbye and he was saying something like, I don't have as much trust as you have. And I was like, my trust is your trust. And all of a sudden he was like, oh, I, he felt like he could receive it in that moment. Yeah. So we just stood there. He closed his eyes and he was like, oh, I need to remember this when the moment comes. So I was like, yes, it is yours. You know, it's not, it's not a personal trust. Yeah. It's like mind mind experience yeah. yeah you can trust wow thank you guys thank you thank you thank you so much <laughs> Alpha and Omega, together we'll rise for healing and forgiveness see hope in your eyes from the start to the end we'll find a way Alpha and Omega, let's live, love, and pray. Oh, 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 oh. Every step we take, every tear we dry, in this journey of faith, together we'll fly. Alpha and Omega, let the past be gone. In the warmth of forgiveness, our spirit is strong. So tell me your troubles, let's make them disappear. With healing and forgiveness, we'll conquer every fear. Alpha and Omega, we're hearts intertwined. In the light of awakening, our souls will shine.